The Volunteer Zambia Project is an international volunteering program between several leading UK universities, collectively known as the Wallace Group, and the Zambian Sports NGO Sport in Action. Sport in Action were founded in 1998 as the first Zambian sports NGO, and the Wallace Group was formed in 2004. My name is Peter Warburton. I represent the charity on the Wallace Group board. I first went to Zambia in 2004. That's where our relationship with um, that NGO started and is still going on in 2022. Um, and the project has developed massively since then. Sport in Action has grown dramatically. We've moved on to a hub site model which we're developing um, as we speak really. It's been massively successful. The project has changed dramatically in the past five or so years. The sustainable nature of our project is exemplified with the hub site concept, which was introduced to the project in 2018, whereby the work we carry out is run in the community, by the community, for the community. This is carried out with the use of hub site committee roles, which can be found in the hub site toolkit, which continues to support the growth of hub sites to this day. So before the hub site um, idea uh, came into being, um, we had uh, a very big challenge in terms of um, making the girls to participate in football because they were meant to travel long distances just to play a friendly game, or what, so it was discouraging. When we started this um, hub site uh, promoting women's uh, soccer, girls in particular, it gave us an opportunity to include more girls. Regardless of their ability, we introduce them. We give them an opportunity to, to, to play. Sport in Action's mission is to improve people's quality of life through sport and recreational activities. With the hub site model being implemented, the work SIA carry out has spread massively, with the project progressing from five successful sites in 2017, to the project now being present in all provinces of Zambia. This has created further opportunities for SIA to empower and support the development of women and girls, provide leadership and sports-specific qualifications to the many volunteers they work with in Zambia, and reach more children who can take part in weekly sport activity, skills in action, and life skills sessions. My name is Amiri Tembo. For me, I want to change the mindset of the parents in Zambia say that uh, even girls can play football like men do. My name is Ajede Tishota. For me, I want to improve football in my community because most of the children are not doing anything. So I want to encourage them so that they may have something to do in life. I think I feel, I feel good with the coming of the hub sites. Before this project came in, it was a challenge to find participants. But now it's easy. We have participants all the time and with huge numbers. Yes. I'm Jessica Kalure. As that is now, we implement girls in Africa in all the sites. We should also give them a skill. When you teach a girl a trade, no one can take it away from her. I'm proud to say, in my tell when I started uh, this initiative, I think I have about six girls which went back to school through a uh, making domains. I would like to see it. In, in all other states, last schools and also a trade that can stand in their lives also. So I was lucky enough to come out as a staff member in 2017. So to come out here now, I think the real key focus on women and girls, again, is something that we can make a really massive impact on sport in Zambia moving forward. The sheer amount of people that are engaged in the project, huge numbers of leaders, volunteers, coaches. Coaches are planning sessions or they're asking for advice to plan sessions or they want to learn and they want to sit down with you. So that is a really 
really key change over the past few years and everything just feels more embedded and more structured. I have a lot more confidence that this is going to be the case throughout the whole of the year. It doesn't need us as, as volunteers and we're there to ensure that the activity happens. The focus is very much on the Zambian coaches, on the Zambian leaders. They are the coach, we're not the coach. This is their group and this is their project and this is what they are delivering on. The sustainable nature of hub sites is consistent with the current roles that students can hold on the Volunteer Zambia project. With the main role carried out by students being that of sport development officers. Our student sport development officers do not directly coach the children in the communities they are working in. Rather, they collaborate with in-country colleagues, primarily volunteer coaches from Sport in Action, to share knowledge and implement ideas on continually progressing the hub sites after year-round assessments with hub site coordinators. Uh, my name is uh, Mwape Consolo. Now the, the model we have is uh, creating the hub sites where they can have communities or churches or schools accessing sports and other life skills. On the other aspect, I think uh, we have been the volunteers and the students doing workshops with the, the coaches. There's also a buy-in from the federations. When you look at Netball, Netball Zambia is involved in the supporting that. When you look at basketball, the Zambia Basketball Federation is supporting that. When you look at uh, football, there's also an endorsement from football, so which is a big achievement and uh, the right way to, to deliver sports development. As of 2022, Sport in Action have a huge reach that spans across the whole of Zambia. The sustainable nature of the project means that we hope to one day no longer be needed in the Zambian capital of Lusaka and eventually the whole of Zambia in the same capacity that we are currently involved as the Zambian sport landscape continues to develop and change. It remains uh, very important to some of us, it remains extremely important to me. The project will continue to grow and um, who knows where it will end up really. The project will continue to link the United Kingdom and Zambia through the hundreds of connections, friendships and partnerships that have developed through the project. with the underlying desire to develop one another in whatever way serves the Zambian communities best.